Alright, we're back with some Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. As Toadsworth has spotted the boat. And it's coming. Take care, everyone. Farewell. As the boat has arrived to take us back to the Mushroom Kingdom. The same boat that dropped Mario off earlier. At the beginning of the game. About 120... No, 100 and... Yeah, 20 something parts ago. Oh, forgive my lightness, sir. I must have dozed off a bit. But please, come on board. I'll get you folks back at full steam. Wait, how do you do it normally? Half steam? You half acid? Good service. As we set a course for the Mushroom Kingdom. And set sail. And leave all our partners stranded on the dock. As they probably really sad that we're gone. And Mario and Peach have a romantic moment. They are all such lovely people, don't you think? I don't have too many good memories of Rogueport, what with the kidnapping and all. But it really is a vibrant town full of love for life, isn't it? Mario just wants to get laid. Mario is very frightened when they took me. But, well, Tech was really there for me and helped me get through it all. And I knew that you would come to help me as well. I will always believe in that. Thank you, Mario. I, I maybe I should listen to Tozors and behave more like a princess from now on. Yeah! So we can have sex more often. As the sunlight shines on the awesome papery water. Mario, look out there! Rogueport's positively shining! It's so beautiful. Aw, oh, that's nice. The water's so golden and cool. Sick photo. I mean, scenery. Do we start the credits? Oh wow, that's crazy, bro. You had a pretty rough time of it, didn't you? But now that Peach is safe, I guess everything is okay. Really, though, how amazing is it that you saved the world again? Again, bro! And to say it's been a little while since then, are you ready for a new adventure? Oh, yeah. yeah, you meet a man, bro. I wonder what everyone who traveled with you is up to. Oh. Ooh, mail. Whoa, what was that, bro? Was that your newfangled mail gadget? Here, I'll show you. It's my new mail SP. Dear Mario, what's up? Campbell here. I'm still here working with Professor Frankly. We beat up the Shadow Queen, but there's tons of rogue court lore we still don't get. So my, mini, my research with the Professor goes on and on. With the info I gathered with you, and we have lots of great leads now, though. Mario, like I always said, every myth contains a kernel of truth. Speaking of which, you know what was in the chest that the professor recovered? You're totally not going to believe me when I tell you it's... A secret! Ha 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 ha! But I'll tell you next time I see you! God damn it! Secrets! I fucking hate secrets! Just tell me... Erg. As Gumbelas and Petal Meadows. As part of my research, I did go back to many of the places we visited. And I saw everyone we traveled with, too! So Gumbelas giving like a post-story thing of what happened. Where is everyone now? Ooh. There's Coops with Koopy Koo. Koops is living peacefully in Petalburg with his dad and Koopy Koo. And Mario, guess what Koops wants to do now? He wants to become mayor of Petalburg and live there in peace. Can you imagine? Still, it might be just be perfect for him come to think of it. He's so much more of an adult now when you left Rogueport. Still, I think Koopy Koo pretty much has him wrapped around her little finger. Yeah, he is pretty whipped. As we go into a battle? What the hell? Flurry's back on stage in a big way, and the crowds are totally ecstatic. And the play she's doing right now is a story of our adventure. Yeah! It's called Paper Mario. I saw it twice. It was totally the best play ever. And somehow Duplis has joined the troupe as an actor. Who saw that coming? His transformation skills are serving well, but it still kind of creeps me out. So Duplis was playing as Mario. What are the chances of that? And Flurry is telling a story about our adventure, even though she did nothing. Except blow away walls. Oh, and little Troctor! Yeah, he's fighting Solo in the Glitz Pit. He says he's getting pretty close to his title match, even. Isn't that just adorable? Oh yeah, he's calling himself the Great Gonzalez Jr. In the ring, by the way. It's sort of silly, but kind of cute, too, don't you think? Oh, and wait, I have to get this exactly right, or he'll get, like, so mad at me. He uh, said that he could totally take you in the ring now, so bring it! 
I guess he doesn't change. Isn't that too cute? No. He's not, actually. Anyway, we go to Twilight Town where Vivian is there. Vivian's going back to hang out with her sisters. Family is important, after all. Now that the Shadow Queen has been defeated, I don't think Belle lives into evil. Oh, and Belle also promised me that she would never be mean to Vivian ever again. Yep, I think the three sirens are going to live pretty peacefully from now on. But you should totally go visit her sometime. As their lips don't... I can't read their lips. And there's the Cortez in his boat with Bobbery. And no Flavio. But whatever. And I guess they're on their way to Kialki. Barbary goes out to sea every day now with Cortez. I think his soul is healed. And there's Eyepatch. I ran into him in Kialki by accident the other day, which was nice. He was so happy I thought he was going to blow up on me for a second there. You know, I bet Scarlet is looking down at him and smiling right now. Oh, and I almost forgot. Everyone on Kialki is well. Is, I mean, everyone on Kialki is well and they say hello. I totally read that wrong. <laughs> I can't read. I are art hard. And Miss Mouse is still running the bad shop in Rogueport, so she's happy. She comes out over to Frankly sometimes to visit. But as usual, as soon as she gets sets foot outside the shop, she turns into a badge ninja. She said she just the other day that had found some super rare badge, actually. That's our global trotting, mystery making, flirting little badge thief, huh? Wow, she spent and changed her eye band thing in, now she's a thief. Wow. <laughs> Her great discovery change. Oh, and there's the x knots Oh, yeah. In my travels, I heard a rumor that Lord Crump and Groves were both still alive. I guess I make some pretty tenacious baddies, doesn't it, Mario? But they have meddled a lot, just like Beldum has, and I don't expect more trouble. Plus, I hear Groves is just ahead, which really cuts down on mischief-making. How is his head able to jump up and down? <laughs> hmm. That's a teleporter. To the moon. To the Exnot Fortress. Speaking of miracle survivals, guess whose favorite calculator is still computing? He says he really wants to see you in Princess Peach again. Wow, tech's still alive. God damn it. Persistent little faggot computer. As we go back to Rogueports. Well, I'm totally rambling at this point, so I guess I'd better wrap it up. I just want to say, even though things got tough, I'm grateful for our time together. And, there's one thing that kind of weighed on me and I never got to express to you. See, I... Well, maybe that's best kept a secret. God, secrets don't make friends, man! She better not love Mario, though. That's the kind of vibe you get. It's like, Vivian loves her... Him... Loves Mario... Vivian loves Mario, Flurry loves Mario, but she's actually showing it off, and retarded shit. So please say hi to Peach for me, okay? Till we meet again, your friend, Goombella. Hey, that's so awesome, bro. Sounds like everyone thing's doing... Oh, wow, shit. Sounds like everyone's doing great over there. Why can't I fucking read? Huh? Huh? Someone here? Excuse me, sirs. Oh, it's Toadsworth. Hey, Toadsworth. And Princess Peach? Hello, Mario. Hello, Luigi. Please allow me to apologize for coming unannounced, but... I was cleaning out the storeroom in the castle the other day, and... I found something rather amazing. Yes, Toadsworth found the treasure map. Another one? I'm sure it will lead to real treasure this time. I just know it. So, Mario, you'd love to look for treasure in that, right? The boat's waiting for you. Already? What? Holy crap. Wow. Anyway. We should probably... Okay, we should probably end this video here. Even though the credits just started at the end of this video. Which is really lame. So yeah, I'm sorry guys. We're gonna have to miss some of the credits. I know it sucks, but... Whatever. Just deal with it. Anyways... Later!